We have a big issue in Alaska with the study tires. It's really wheels and tears the pavements. If you cross a typical intersection, you're gonna go through the ruts. And those ruts causes a lot of safety issues. Hot mix asphalt is not gonna withstand all those bombardment of studs and so on. Concrete is rigid material. You might, might really go as low as minus 70 degrees and as high as 90 degrees. And that material cannot really take all this expansion and contraction. So you need a material that addresses the flexibility and the hardness at the same time. We're using standard steel fibers, wasted tires being re recycled. Why we need the flexibility? Because of the expansion and contraction as a result of the change in temperature. We found a balance between the rubber, the steel, and different ingredients of Portland cement to give us that flexibility at the same time, give us the strength to address the cold region issues. You could really see, I've started the process of testing. I, I ran one test on it, and simply it goes down, and then it goes back and forth. And 20,000 of those repetitions bombard the sample overnight. So instead of waiting five years, you wait one night and figure out what's going on. And this is where we ran the test. And this is the steel fibers, and this is the rubber after testing, after we simulated the traffic for at least five years. I'm extremely happy with it. The DOT are spending a lot of money maintaining our roadways to address the ruts. If you look at the life cycle cost for it, which we expect it's gonna live about 20 years instead of four to five years, over the 20 years, we are saving money. It's going to address both the flexibility and the rigidity or the hardness to withstand all those bombardments by the study tires. <laughs> My wife would like to call it a buzz or something. I want to make sure it works before we. I'm, I'm going to call it my last name. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs>